in the New Testament, what you see is over and over one part of Christ's body would supply things to other parts. You'll read about people taking up offerings. We're going to, everybody bring your offering together. What was the offering for? It was because another part of the body had needs. We're going to send this to the church in Jerusalem. We're going to, we're going to do this over here. And so one part of the body would meet the needs of the other part of the body. And we might think, well, I thought you said, you know, Philippians 4, that God supplies. Well, why don't God supply the need? Maybe that's how he supplies the need. Do you, th- do you think like this? If I have a need, I'm going to pray. I'm going to trust the Lord for, for, you know, finances. And then I'm going to go outside with a bucket to catch reigning U.S. currency. God said he'd supply my need, so I'm trusting him. Here it comes. That's not the way we think. We know that he's not a counterfeiter, right? Well, we know that he's not doing it that way. But what's his design? I'm trusting him to supply and him being Jesus, the head of the church, will send a signal to some other part of my body that that part of the body needs to give attention to this other part of the body. It's like if you slap, you know, slap your thumb with a hammer, the rest of your body is alerted. (laughs) Ah! (laughs) Part of the body's in trouble here. And all of your focus and all of your attention, everything else stops to go... Problem, <laughs> you know, we need some attention, get some ice or whatever, get some band We've got a problem over here. That's the same way the church is supposed to function, right? I don't mean that thumb necessarily goes around to the rest of the body and says hurting, 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 hurting. But what happens is it all goes through the head. And that's how the body of Christ functions. When we are staying in tune with Jesus, the head of the church, he gives us signals, He gives us direction and says, hey, help over here. Hey, do something for these. Hey, pray about this over here. Because he sees the whole thing. The brain is in charge of the whole body. We're all taking signals. But if we get cut off from that that directionary flow, then parts of the body suffer. And we're like, "Eh, I don't even know about it hardly, let alone care. Amen. And so uh, we're believing God for for whatever it is, for finances or for help or for strength or something in some area. But the way that he does it is he triggers another part of the body so there'll be a supply line that flows through us. That's when we're healthy. That is. It's not when a part of the body is just out on its own asking the Lord for help and no one else knows. Amen, amen. 